Jesus loved Mother Mary so, so, so much. We couldn't possibly outdo Jesus, right? In the love that he had for his sweet mother. And so when we get closer to his mother, there is nothing that can be bad about that. There is absolutely nothing. And we are not replacing God with Mother Mary. We are, we are asking her to pray with us to get closer to her son. Hey friends, okay, so today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to honor Mother Mary properly as a Catholic. And I'm also gonna get into some things that a lot of Protestants come on my channel and tell me to stop worshiping Mary and how being having idols are, you know, it's a, it's a sin and it's one of the Ten Commandments and they are completely right. However, they are not correct on that Catholics have idols. And I'm gonna explain that in this video. I'm gonna get all into Mother Mary because she is the most amazing mother this planet has ever had. And the most amazing part is that God gave her to us as a mother. She's our mother too. And it is the month of May, which in the Catholic Church, we, we honor Mother Mary a special way during this month and we thank her we a lot of people do the main crowning i have a video on the main crowning i'll put that down below if you want to see what our family does it's really special and beautiful why we pray the rosary all these things because mother mary is one of the biggest fighters for the christian faith and so if we don't have mother mary fighting with us by our side protecting us from the evil one it's going to be a lot a lot harder if we don't have her help so i'm going to get into that so the first thing that i want to talk about is how to honor her properly so we as catholics a lot of catholics don't actually know this and a lot of protestants tell us what we believe which is completely wrong and false and so that's actually why i am doing this video because so many protestants come on here and try to teach me about the catholic faith and they're completely wrong they i don't know who told them i feel bad for them because they're so misguided on the catholic faith fulton sheen once said that if all the christians in the world understood what catholicism really meant there would be only catholics because i think the and the point was that so many Protestants, people who are Christian but not Catholic, um, really don't understand the Catholic faith. And if they did, they would become Catholic. And I truly believe that because we have the fullness of the truth. So the one of the big, big things for a lot of Protestants, or maybe a lot of Catholics might not know this because unfortunately I feel like a lot of Catholics aren't catechized well, is that, um, that we we worship mary that is the biggest thing that i hear all the time and it makes me so sad because we do not worship mary we don't worship statues we only worship god and god alone and that means god the father god the son jesus and god the holy spirit mother mary is very special to us however and so um it would be wrong to worship her it, that would make mother mary sad like if we worshiped her because she is not God, but she has a very, very, very close relationship with God. But God loves her and has a special place in his heart for her. And he gets to do that because he's God. He can have a special place in his heart for anybody, right? Well, Mother Mary is sinless and he loves her. He loves that she said yes to him. And he loves that her yes made it that his son Jesus could come and be walk amongst us because of her yes. And he loves that she was always faithful to God. So as Catholics, we love Mother Mary because of her yes. And there's nothing wrong or sinful about that. Absolutely nothing. In fact, Jesus on the cross said to, to John, he said, because Mary was at the, the foot of the cross when her son died, and he said to John, this is your mother. And so what he meant by that is take my mother into your home and love her. And he, John in this whole scenario is us. He wants us to take his mother into our home. 
because she will like, love us like no other mother on earth could possibly love us. She loves us so purely, so holy, and she wants nothing, absolutely nothing more than for you to know her son. And you might be saying, because I get all these questions all the time, you might be saying, well, Heather, you can go right to Jesus for that, right? But in the Bible, it says, wherever two or more are gathered in my name, there I am, right? So that is the kicker. God wants us to pray in community. And I know people are gonna say yes, but saints and Mary are dead people. They are not though, because in the Bible it does say that whoever dies and is in union with God is in heaven. And if you are in heaven, you are truly alive, right? So therefore, all the saints that we pray with, that's the thing, we're praying with Mary. We are praying with the saints. And we know that their prayers are so pure and holy because they're in heaven. And so they are praying with us. That is huge. So you could be on a deserted island and ask, you know, St. Padre Pio to pray with you, Mother Mary, St. Joseph, St. Therese, all these saints, you could ask them, please pray with me. And you are not alone. I love that because I have my brothers and sisters in Christ with me all the time because the saints are my brothers and sisters in Christ. And so they are in heaven and so they are not dead. They are fully alive, more alive than you and I. They are fully alive. And so, and if you think about the transfiguration, right? Jesus is on the mountain and he sees Elijah and Moses and he is with them, he's talking to them. So how could what Jesus do, he's talking to dead people, how could that be a sin? It's not a sin. It's not a sin to talk and pray and ask all the holy saints and angels to pray with us because that's where our prayers become even more intense, right? Like the more people praying for something, the more God will hear our prayers. It gets stronger and stronger. So it's beautiful. Also, if Jesus gave us his mother, one of the 10 commandments is that we should honor our mother and father. And so Mother Mary, we are honoring her when we pray with her, when we talk with her. All right, so the, the next thing I wanna talk about is idols because so many people ask me to stop having idols in my home, okay? Idols are something that you worship right you are on your the ground worshiping just to have an image i have a picture of my grandfather who died because i love him i want to remember to pray for him i have pictures of my family all over my house right here is that a sin to have an image of your family i tell people all the time is it wrong to have a picture of your mom in a frame in your house, is that sinful? And how would you like it if I said, stop worshiping your mom? How would you like that? That I don't get upset about much in my life, but that is one thing where I'm like, oh my goodness, like just because you have a statue or an image does not mean you are worshiping it, okay? And it is not fair to tell Catholics or tell people you worship this statue because we don't worship statues. That would be a sin, you are correct. But this statue reminds me of Mother Mary's yes. And it reminds me of how to be a woman, the way that God wants me to be the woman. She is the perfect example of ev what a woman is, what a woman should be. And I love that I have an example as a woman. And she takes care of me, she protects me. I love that. You know, when we, when we pray and we ask for her to protect us, when we have the miraculous medal, she wraps us in her mantle and she protects us from evil. Satan hates Mother Mary. So when people disregard how important Mary is because we honor her, we love her, she is the mother of God. Okay, so of course we should honor her. Of course, we could not possibly love Mother Mary more than her own son loves Mother Mary. Okay, like that is not possible. That is not even a thing. Jesus loved Mother Mary so, so, so much. We couldn't possibly outdo Jesus, right? In the love that he had for his sweet mother. And so when we get closer to his mother, 
There is nothing that can be bad about that. There is absolutely nothing. And we are not replacing God with Mother Mary. We are, we are asking her to pray with us to get closer to her son because wherever two or more are gathered in my name, there I am. Her son said that. So it is much more powerful to have two people pray than just one, right? That is biblical. So anyway, we do not worship statues. Please stop telling Catholics that we worship idols. Nope, not a thing, not possible. Just because we have an image does not mean we're actually worshiping that image. That would be crazy. Like, do you have a bobblehead of, I don't know who, like some baseball player? Stop, you know, how would you like it if someone's like, stop worshiping that bobblehead? That's not a thing. Like, that's not even, that, what? <laughs> so the rosary is just simply praying with Mary. We're saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Right? So that St. Elizabeth said that to Mary, that's in the Bible, right? Like, you're amazing. You're above all other women on this earth. Like, you are spiritually the most amazing woman. Right? And the second part is, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. We're just asking Mary, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. That's it. We're saying, Mary, you're so amazing and so great, and you said yes to God. The second part is, please pray for us. We need your prayers. There's nothing sinful or wrong about that. And the mysteries of the rosary is all biblical. It's about her son, Jesus. Like, that is the most amazing part of the rosary. I mean, there's so much about Mother Mary that I could go on. I'm very passionate about my love for her. And the reason why is because she has always been my mother. My mom taught me the rosary from a very early age. And because of that, she has helped me to grow closer to her son throughout my life. Every stage of my life, she was there. And because of that, I'm so thankful that my mom gave me the best gift possible and that was how to pray the rosary, my Catholic faith, the confession, you know, like through my mom constantly teaching me the faith, I feel like I could fly. There's nothing on this earth that I want or need, it's only God and that is the best gift that my mom could have ever given to me. And so this May, I hope that you will honor Mother Mary too because she, she deserves it quite frankly. She's amazing and she wants nothing more than to bring you closer to her son. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.